Hey everyone, I'm Megan. And I am Jessie. Jessie, I have a question for you. If you could have anything you wanted, what would you ask for? Hmm, that is a tough question. Let me think. Hmm, oh, I got it. A swimming pool full of mashed potatoes. Oh, uh, wait, 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 no. A swimming pool full of cheesy mashed potatoes. Oh, no, 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 wait. I changed my mind. A swimming pool full of blueberry mashed potatoes. Oh, wait. One more thing. A swimming pool full of cheesy blueberry mashed potatoes covered with gravy. Gravy makes everything taste better. Yummo! <laughs> that is quite a request, Jesse. In today's Bible story, God told Solomon to ask for anything he wanted, and God said he would give it to him. You might be surprised what Solomon asked for. Let me tell you the story. David had been the king of Israel for a long time. Now his son Solomon was going to be the king. Before David died, he gave Solomon some special instructions. David said, be strong and brave. Obey God and you will be a good king. God will keep his promise to us. Every king of Israel will come from our family. David told Solomon to make wise choices. When David died, Solomon became the king of Israel. One night, God talked to Solomon in a dream. God said, Solomon, ask for anything you want and I will give it to you. Now, a king might ask to live a long life or to be very rich. Solomon could have asked God to take away all his enemies, but Solomon did not ask to be rich or to live a long time. He asked for something even better. Solomon said, God, I am young and I do not know very much about being a king. Please make me wise. Help me obey you. Help me know what is right and wrong. Help me be a good leader. God told Solomon, I am happy you asked for wisdom. I am going to make you more wise and understanding than anyone who has ever lived. No one in the future will ever be as wise as you, Solomon. God also said, because you asked for wisdom, I will also give you what you did not ask for, long life, riches, and honor. You will be greater than any other king while you are alive. Then Solomon woke up. He thanked God and praised him. Solomon was a wise king who wanted to follow God's plan, but Solomon was not perfect. God had a plan to send a greater and wiser king, Jesus. Jesus trusted God and followed God's plan by dying on the cross for our sins. 